So I wanted to give a quick overview of the Antelope Valley. It's a place I've been visiting for several years now, and it fascinates me. Not just because it's an interesting place unto itself, but because it's very representative of a lot of the trends all across North America. I tried to examine it from as many different angles as possible. So there are going to be a series of stories about the place and uh, and how the economics and the and the physical logistics are playing out because it, it tells stories about a lot of other places just like it. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the Antelope Valley, it started out in the uh, late 1800s as an agricultural zone where there was uh, lots of alfalfa and cherries and pears that were produced. Uh, over time, the water supply, which was basically groundwater that was being pumped up, was exhausted. And by the 1950s, it was really difficult to farm there because there wasn't enough water. At the same time, uh, the military and the aerospace industry started to move into the Antelope Valley. Uh, that's where things like um, uh, jet aircraft were tested and where the space shuttle was uh, developed and a lot of it was built. That's where the space shuttle used to land uh, when the space shuttle was still flying. It's where the stealth bomber had been developed and tested. So there was a, an influx of uh, fairly uh, uh, educated, reasonably prosperous people that would move out there because that's where the aerospace jobs were. That has played itself out. You know, the military is, is cutting back on those programs. Uh, NASA is basically going away entirely. Just as that started to wind down, the Antelope Valley became a, a popular destination for uh, people who wanted to continue to live in comfortable single-family homes with backyards and swimming pools and front lawns uh, and at an affordable price, and they could still commute to their jobs in Los Angeles. Uh, and it, it was it was a sacrifice. Basically, one member of the family, either mom or dad, decided that they would spend three or four hours on the road every day getting to and from work in exchange for the rest of the family living a comfortable middle-class life. And that basically has started to unwind uh, after the uh, housing crisis of 2008. Uh, all the houses that went uh, from doubling in value to tripling in value during the boom lost half their value, lost two-thirds of their value in the crash, and a lot of people got, got hurt in that process. So now these, uh, these towns, Palmdale, Lancaster, uh, a lot of unincorporated areas like Quartz Hill and Antelope Acres, they're all trying to figure out what it is that they're going to do to earn a living in the future.